How's it going guys? Um, in this video we're gonna repair this Samsung TV. Uh, this is a 32 inch um, TV and basically uh, so we have a problem with the picture. Uh, uh, the colors look off as you can see. Uh, many other Samsung uh, TVs uh, pretty much have the same problem. Uh, this particular model is the LN32A330. So what happens is that the uh, the T-Con board um, there's a there's a nice a chip on the T-Con board that just goes bad, which is the uh, the chip in charge of, in charge of the uh, the gamma. So I've already opened this TV. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and turn it off so that I can show you what it is that you guys need to replace. So, the first thing we gotta do is just, you know, unplug the TV from the power, make sure it's unplugged. We have a cable, our HDMI, make sure to unplug all that from the, from the back of the TV. I've already opened my TV, so uh, it could be a little bit tricky to change this particular Tico board on this model. Uh, but I'm going to show you where it is located on this TV. So our T-Con board on this TV is located right here under this uh, metal shield. So at first glance you have a lot of screws to get to it. Uh, it seems that uh, because it's underneath these two bars and you you actually uh, the, the bars are screwed on to this other bar over here so the easiest way to actually get to this board is and you know without doing too much work um, is to take about four, four screws out from this bar so that you have two over here and then you have two more over here so that's the first thing you want to do. I've already taken those four out and uh, I left two over here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and take those out too. Okay, so after you take um, all the screws out so it's a total of six screws so you want to pull it up and just take it out the next step is to get this um, metal shield out so you're gonna have four small screws I've already taken two of them out You have to be very careful because they may go into your power board. You don't want. Okay, so now we just want to take this one, so you, you pull it up and then you take it out. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so that's our on board um, so this is a particular chip the IC that goes bad this one over here so we're I already so you could just replace the, the board you can probably just get a, 
a board on eBay for probably, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks. So you pull these two out. And then this one, you have to hold it from the sides first and then pull it down. So this is our ticking board. Okay, so I already have another one. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it. So we're just plugging back our flex cables back in. There we go. So for now we're just gonna go ahead and just uh, just put one or two, uh, just one screw for now, just to hold it in there. While we just give it a try, turn it back on. Just make sure that it's, that we fixed it. So so that didn't take very long, so we're gonna miss him out first. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, plug our TV back in and uh, turn it back on. Just gonna test it first before we put it back together. So we're gonna we're gonna turn on our TV. And and in terms of the so there you go. Case, what were there? Who were their main witnesses? So as you can see, the uh, the problem is resolved. Sure. Our uh, picture looks clean, as it should be. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, after that, just uh, unplug it, um, turn it off, unplug it, and then just put it back together. And uh, there you go. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like my video and subscribe to my channel for future uh, videos. Thank you. Bye bye.